In this lesson, I want to show how to create and use common JS modules um, in order to uh, essentially um, help simplify uh, our programs. Uh, the solutions that I've created so far have basically put everything into a single file, and that obviously doesn't make for very readable code. And um, also, there, become, there are issues that come along with, uh, with doing that. And so what I want to do is show how to create um, applications that uh, define um, their own modules and then show how to actually include those into uh, the program. So the solution that we're going to create is something that looks like the following, where uh, I've created a module that essentially has a text field in it and a button. When I type in some words, say, uh, let's say my name, and type in enter, um, we'll display a value or display a label within um, a window. Okay, so I need to create this, um, and I'm going to start off with creating a, a view uh, that um, essentially uh, is our module and it has uh, two features. The first thing is I want to create a function that contains or has two parameters. One of them uh, the color for the view, the other one uh, the name of a label uh, that we will use to uh, display uh, this text here. Um, and uh, so I'm going to create this function and have this function um, essentially define a, um, a view. So create view. And in this view, I'll have a background color. That'll be that color that we just displayed up there. And then, um, and then the label. Uh, I also want to define a height for this. Um, I'm going to make it 15%, um, and that's 15% of the uh, of the parent view. And then I'm going to use uh, horizontal layout. And then uh, let's see. So uh, I want to actually return this. Uh, this is the return value of the function. So whenever we call this function. Um, we will have a new view that's created and then that'll be returned. Um, there are a couple other things I need to add to this yet, uh, a text field and a button. I'm going to hold off on that um, for the moment uh, and I'm going to uh, first uh, finish up the module, um, uh, the basics of the module, and then we'll add the other features in. So uh, in order to use a uh, common JS module, we need to use the module.exports uh, command and then we're going to set that equal to the name of this uh, this function which we've called view one. Um, so I'm going to do that and then this uh, this ensures that uh, whenever we actually use this module that um, this function is uh, what's being executed. Okay, so um, I need to actually use this in a program. I'm going to create a window. And for the background color, I'm going to make it black so that it's um, distinguishable from the, the view that we've just created. And I'm going to use a vertical layout. And then um, I need to, I'm going to create that label that we were using. So label equals ti.ui.autocorrect. Ah, Create label and make the color of that label white. And we're going to put that 10 pixels from the uh, bottom of whatever the previous um, view is that gets added. Um, 
Okay, so now comes the part where we're actually going to use the module that we uh, just created. So I'm going to create a variable, I'm going to call it view. Uh, and I'm going to say require uh, UI slash view. So I put this view file into the UI directory, and so I'm basically saying uh, use whatever code is in that um, that file. Notice here I did not put .js. If you do that, then um, that'll raise an error. Um, and then now I want to instantiate the view. So I'm going to call my view equals new view. Oh, and then I need to pass in two parameters. So one of them is color. Let's start off with white. And then I need to pass in that label because um, that's where we're going to display uh, that one uh, message. Okay, um, let's add this to the window, my view, and then show the window. Oh, actually, we also need to add the label to the window, and then we can show it. So open. All right, so what we should have now is just a view that's going to be um, just a white bar, because we haven't put in a button in it or a text field. So. That's what we should see in the simulator. So let's go ahead and run that. Just take a moment. There it is. Okay, so there's my white bar. And obviously, we can't see anything. So um, we need to uh, finish off uh, mark, or modifying this view. Uh, one of the things I want to demonstrate here is that um, since it is now a module, um, I'm free to use it as many times as I want. So I can actually instantiate another view. My view two. And let's color this one yellow. Pass the same label to it. And add it. So let's see, here's our, so here we have the two views, white and yellow, um, that have been added to the window. All right, so let's finish off the implementation of that view so that um, it actually does something. And, uh, We'll leave both of those on there. Let's go here and change the view. Okay, so I need to do two things. I need to um, I need to add the text field. I need to add the button. Oh, and then I also need to uh, have something to that reacts to uh, the button event or the click event. So let's create the text field first. So far, tf equals ti create text field. And we need a number of properties here. Um, let's set a width of 70%. And let's set a height of, uh, let's say, not quite, f not quite 50%. Let's try 40% of the, uh, the main view. Uh, let's set it 10 pixels left and 15 pixels from the top. Oh, and then we need to set a border style. Um, input border style rounded. So rounded will just give us sort of the standard look on the uh, on the borders for the uh, for the text field. Uh, and it'll make the, t the it actually makes the text field visible. All right, so add that to self. Add. Now we need to create a button. Create button. And we'll have the uh, the button. 
button say enter and let's put this 10 pixels uh, from the right edge of the text field and uh, to, let's see, 15 pixels from the top edge of the view and then add the button to the view and then finally we need a uh, an event handler for the button click so add event listener so when we click on the button we're going to do this function Uh, let's see, when uh, when a text field is clicked on, uh, a keyboard comes up, and so we need to hide that key that keyboard. So that's tf.blur. And then we need to uh, change the value of this label here to whatever was typed. Um, so else uh, self.label text equals, and let's say high plus whatever the value of the text field is. Okay, so that should do it. Uh, let's run our simulator again. So we should have, uh, uh, we should have two of these search boxes. Uh, if I type in here Jerry uh, oh where is my alright let's try let's hide these first and let's make sure that our labels are done properly here. Let's see. So I set label uh, property to be output. That's correct. And then let's see. Did I add, I added the label to the oh while there's no while color. All right. So let's go back. Okay, so I'll try it again. There it is. And both of these, uh, both of these views are connected to that same label. Um, so if I type in either one of these, it changes. Uh, it still changes that same label. Um, so again, this is uh, uh, these are uh, this is a demonstration of the use of the modules. Um, and uh, so I have now a, a way of uh, reusing the code uh, for creating this uh, um, uh, this view with the text field and the button. Um, I don't have to type that in multiple times. I can just use the require statement and then instantiate um, the view with the new operation. So anyway, oh, I guess the other thing that we looked at here is text fields. Um, I think that's something new that we haven't seen before. Um, and then use of the blur command. So anyway, that concludes this lesson on using common JS modules in Titanium.